kill early on you. Um, but there'd be no late kills in None. this. There shouldn't be any. I mean, I would assume not. Um, even if it gets to like 140 for Seth, he just jabs people to death, you know? Yeah. Falcon having that capabilities. But Dan, all the way from Chicago, yeah. here representing with the Mario, and uh, saw a little bit of this earlier. His Mario is pretty darn good, man. His Mario is so good, beating Smasher, actually. Well, in the ditto. In the ditto. And the Mega Man. 2-0. Yeah, Dan said he wasn't like practicing too much, but his mental, his mental game in Smash Bros. is so good. Did you see that spacing to that space out the up air so you can set through it out? It didn't matter because Dan was ro roaring and ready for it. He knows the character matchup and he knows the player matchup. As Seth, uh, Seth is like in this really cool middle ground where he does make reads, but he also has really nice combos. Like right <laughs> there, that was a combo into a read. He got the down throw into up air, which is true, and then he read. Don't in jump. Oh. Just don't jump. Love Seth, man. And that's so it. good. Yeah, Seth always surprising, you know. In that situation, Dan started off so good, the spacing, everything looking really, really good for him. And out of nowhere, Seth got one opening, and yeah. he makes you pay. Dan kind of does the same thing. That's what I really also like about Dan's game play. We saw him go for the forward smash earlier, not able to get the spacing. But he will throw it out, and it kind of makes... Even if it doesn't hit, it puts the other idea... It puts the idea into Seth's head. There, Seth thought he was going for a grab. Wrong. He was going for the up smash, caught up the short hop. Yeah, you put that idea on his head, and you never know when it'll come back to bite him. It could be even game three. He's like, well, you know, he did yeah. this earlier. Right. But this is 140 Falcon. Falcon with Rage is no joke, especially uh, if Seth keeps calling out these fishing attempts from Dan, and no jump. Oh, the platform, though. Platform coming in handy, man. Oh, the handyman platform. Oh, jeez. That was a weird sequence, that honestly. Like that was super weird. weird. It was like the timing was kind of off by both players. And Dan really fishing for these up smashes. You can't almost blame him a little bit, but I'd like to see a little variety on this. Seth kind of figured that out a while ago, and that was stupid. <laughs> like, like, yeah, what are you doing? Like, Raptor boost in his face. Well, Dan is actually holding shield pretty intelligently, because it's like, what are you going to do? Throw me? Yeah, right. right. Like, okay, whatever, dude. I probably can't die from a throw, at least not yet. Or, or eventually, yes, of course. Uh, but yeah, I, I like... I like the option Seth, Seth is throwing now. I think that Raptor Boost was like, I'm at 150. I'm going to die soon anyways. Right. If I hit him with this max rage, he probably just dies. Right. No, he definitely dies. Like, uh -oh. I, I have the rage while I have it, but right now, the platform actually coming in might have to help either help or hinder Seth. Neither happens because uh, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I was kind of curious. Like, I saw the platform coming. I thought maybe Dan would like to reset his jumps on it and just I keep juggling so Seth, but... Ooh, looking for that lock, actually. That would have been really smooth. By the ledge with that much rage, full charge Ooh, forward smash. Full I don't know. Forward smash. I don't know. Should go with the down tilt. Uh, could look for a follow up on the fair to get that, but um, Seth's just out of range. I like Seth just. Oh, Ooh. look for the pivot grab, the back throw. Right now, would definitely do it. Yeah, nice call. Yeah, nice call. I actually was like, I said that. And I'm like, God, why did I say that? What uh, am I wrong right now? Dude, you're you know? a genius. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, I'm the smartest guy alive. I play that character. I should know that. Yeah, you should super know that. Yeah, Too bad no one plays Pac Man. Yeah, I know. How dare that? Well, Nebula isn't here. Nebula. What, what are you doing today? Love you, Nebula. Yeah. We miss you. You making those loser runs and just upsetting people. Yeah. Is this this knee? Yeah, this yeah, is this, this is jump read knee. knee. Oh, see, see ya. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that literally defines Seth's play style, like we mentioned earlier. Just getting a true combo into a read. He does both. Uh, mixing up both games. And then Dan, you can actually see a lot of his... Uh, Rea he's like a reactionary player almost. He like reacts to situations, and like we saw him hiding in shield, but it kind of hurt him in that moment where he got the back throw. Yeah, like we saw a lot of like good combo reactionary like reaction situations from Dan, but the only issue I was seeing was he, man, Whoa. when he couldn't kill Seth, he was warped. Oh! He just kind of caught Dan off guard with that up air, landing with it in the knee. I don't know why they're at FD. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, I actually, I couldn't tell you. I uh, think, I think like, obviously triplats are probably banned out, but like, the same thing. I think, I think uh, Pelkin does so well on the stage, but Dan, you know, he's in the tournament. I'm over here talking yeah, about yeah. it, you know? But I mean, it's, it's good insight, right? Like, why do you think Kevin Pelkin does so good on MD? It's just because you control You can't speed. land, like you can't, you can't <laughs> land. You just land into knees. Oh, he just lands. He's like, yo, I'm going to grab you, throw you up there and just uh -huh. knee you. And, uh, yeah. I think I know why Seth uses the yellow skin. 